The York Museum's Trust curates the City of York's collection of material, archaeology, natural science, um, social history, numismatics and art. And it is one of the strongest collections, uh, general collections in the north of England. Within my own area, numismatics, it, it is the strongest collection in northern England. Over 40,000 objects which uh, can tell us about the history and archaeology of the city of York and Yorkshire more generally. Um, we have some astonishing material within it. Um, reference collections of early medieval material, um, a wonderful collection of archaeologically excavated Roman coinage and some really uh, fantastic later material and some very special hoards. So I've lived in York for a while. Um, I knew a few people around here and I'd been involved in Wikipedia for a couple of years um, and I'd kind of been angling uh, for, for one of the museums in town where I had contacts to get a resident and I heard that the new scheme was going along. Um, I had no idea it would be me because I thought I would be doing other things and then through a series of happy accidents uh, I was looking for a project at the same time that the job came up and applied and here I am. So there were a number of key elements. Um, there was training of staff and volunteers, um, uh, running a public edit-a-thon, uh, releasing images and helping uh, engage with Wikipedians around the content that we were releasing and the knowledge from the collections. So the Midlam Horde is a horde of the Civil War deposited during the time, um, during the 1640s. And it, it, we acquired it in, during the mid-90s. Um, we only acquired a relatively small proportion of it, 50 coins and the three pots it was found in. And since we'd acquired it, it had lain dormant, really. Despite the fact it's this astonishing, very important hoard, we hadn't done anything with it. And it doesn't really fit with our gallery spaces. So what we were really keen to do was to put it on display digitally. Thus we had the coins imaged by a volunteer and we put those images um, onto Wikimedia. And from there they have sort of really taken off the whole page about the hoard. Um, and they've actually they've been used in a number of different ways thereafter. Andy Woods, the, the numismatics curator, just gave me these images and I uploaded them. They looked great and uh, was already talking with Wikipedians about getting this article put together and they could see this quite high quality article coming together for this collection which had previously languished in the stores. Um, so as a result the fine art curators, the natural history curators, the archaeology curators were all coming to me going well how do we get in on this? It also um, really demonstrated uh, to, the, to, the, to the management of the museum that this was working. It was a great little bubble of, of, a, of a success, a nice simple success. Digital outputs, Wikimedia, Wikipedia are valid and important things for museums to be involved in and I think absolutely um, without a doubt we have proved that. You know this is a, a test case and it's hopefully something that York Museums Trust can, can run with in the future.